Hey guys! So today I basically wanted to go over my travel kit or my pencil case basically. That is what I carry with me every day. And the sort of quick, the sketchbook that I use is the Lucerne 1917 and it's the A6 sketchbook version in Azure. And yeah, this is the sketchbook that I use for travel purposes. I keep it in my bag. And then this is my pencil case. And I believe it is by Global Art, but it doesn't have a logo on it anywhere. I'm just guessing because I have a similar pencil case that's in leather. Let me have it over here. But I don't uh, carry this one around because I don't want to get it any more dirty than it already is. <laughs> also it has other stuff in it so. <laughs> but I think it's by the same company except it's fabric uh, instead of leather so it is cheaper. And then it has this this nice clasp here so you can keep it shut. It is kind of big but it's it is very um, for everything that's in it it's very compact and it's very easy to get all my supplies out see what I'm talking about so I don't have to like fumble through everything in order to get the supply that I want it's just all nicely organized here so I guess we'll go from left to right but oh I'm also going to show you guys what these tools do so that you have an idea of what I use them for. So the first thing I have is my water brush and it's kind of messy but I use this mostly for ink stuff. I can't really test this but basically it's it's water <laughs> and what I like about this one is how how fine tipped it is but it's also you can really get a lot of water and get a lot of ink and area out of it so I use this quite frequently and you just sort of push on this lightly to get the water to come out and then you can determine how um, black you want your ink and then right next to that is another this is an ink brush as opposed to a water brush don't actually know who it's by. I think it's Pentel. It might be Pilot though. Uh, this is another thing that I got at Blix. Uh, does it say on the side? No. <laughs> but this instead is all full of ink instead of water. So this is for when I want to fill in like really large black areas. I use this. Or if I'm doing sort of um, just really thick black lines like this. But I love ink, so I love having it with me, but I don't want to carry like a bottle of ink in most cases. <laughs> so, I mean, I do use this water brush with watercolors as well. Watercolors are easier to transport. You don't have to run the risk of them destroying your bag if they spill, you know, because I usually use the, uh, what are they called? The, um, the palette ones. Do you, I'll remember later in the video and then I'll come back to it, <laughs> but the, the not in the tube ones. <laughs> um, then over again, I'll take both these out. Because these are both uh, Kurataki Bimoji pens that I get from Jet Pens. And one of these, this is the fine, the fine one. And then this is the extra fine. So these are basically just, once again, ink pens, but. I, these are my favorite pens, I love them to pieces, because you can create so much 
um, you can you can really go from thin to thick really easily and it just makes your line work so much so much more dynamic as somebody who really likes using thick black lines I really love this tool so I have slightly I have the smaller one and the slightly bigger one and yeah I love these and next to that this is just a regular ballpoint pen it's a twist twist one that I got from Target I believe but I just it's nice to have something to write with and I thought this was really cute I really like floral designs and the ink actually like flows really nice and smooth when it comes out so I really like these pens so I have I carry one of them I have a couple it was in like a set uh, then I also have a this is just a non photo blue pencil and I believe this is Prismacolor there's a little bit of it left um, but I don't have much of it left so I have this pencil extender which is this one however the heck you say that <laughs> but uh, yeah I like these pencil extenders because I can extend the life of my pencils that's cool but I use this mainly for if I know I'm going to be doing a more detailed drawing this is sort of for the under sketch and then I do the details much darker on top I don't have to worry about it showing up in a scan and I have these two uh, woodless graphite pencils and they are the create a color monolith and they're both the same type of pencil but this is an HB and this is a 6B so this is not as dark as this one so I can get a nice range and this is I don't do a lot of drawings with just like regular pencils but I really like these especially if I'm doing something that's more just sort of freeform and loose as opposed to where I'm getting to with this next thing um, which is my this is a mechanical pencil and this is I do most of my sketching with this and it's a pilot doctor grip with 0.5 lead in frost blue this was something else that I got at jet pens and I love I love this pencil because I have a hard time with I get tendonitis pretty frequently so this is great because it's so ergo, ergonomic is that how you say it and it's just it's great it's one of the shaker ones so you have to shake it to get the pencil lid down but I kind of I kind of like that <clears throat> I don't really have a anything for or against shaker as opposed to clicker ones I mean this still does click but the shaking is to get the lead into like the track but I love this pencil god dang it <laughs> but anyway I love this pencil it's it is one of my more expensive tools but I, th I think it was about ten dollars but it's something I use every time I draw and it prevents my hand from cramping up and getting tendonitis and that sort of thing and that is something you do have to you know realize if you're an artist that you do have to take breaks and you know it happens to the best of us I mean to me it's more frequently because I'm an old lady in a young person's body but <laughs> take breaks when you draw anyways 
This is my Uniball Signo, and it's a, basically a white gel pen. And this is another one of my favorite tools. This you can use to sort of create these effects in if you have a different color down or sort of as a whiteout if you want to clean up your line work or if you color outside the lines a little bit and this happens to match the color of your paper you look out or if you want to do like a just sort of effects you know if you want to sort of carve out a black you can do that with this pen this is another thing that I got from Jet Pens but I believe uh, Blix does carry this. And what I like about this is you can see how much ink you've used up, which is nice because then I can, then I can, um, I know when I need to buy a new one. And this is something I got pretty recently, also from Jet Pens, and it is the Petite 2 Sign Pen by Pilot. And it's this very sort of tiny, compact uh, marker pen. And it's in blue. I thought I got the black, but I did get the blue. I'm kind of glad that I got the blue though, because it's it's like a it's like a royal blue, like it's a very rich, rich blue that comes out of there. And I really like it, but. This this is great for if I'm sort of warming up, I want to do gestural sorts of things. I can use this to sort of get in the zone. I feel like things with bigger tips, I have an easier time starting off with to sort of loosen up, get in the feel of things. And then once I get more, and then I, I do details later. You know, I tighten up later. But you want to do, I feel like, you should do the majority of your stuff loosely so that way you don't kill your hand early on. <laughs> if you, and also, if you start off tight, chances are it's going to be wrong the first time around and you just have to fix it and fix it and fix it. But with this kind of thing, you get it right the first time around and then you tighten it up later. But I really like this pen. I like how it looks. I like how it feels. It's also very... It's pretty ergo ergonomic. It's one of my thicker ones. So that stays in here. Then I also have this, I don't use this for drawing really, but this is my Pilot Frixion ball pen and it is an erasable gel pen. Sometimes it does get a while to like get started, but I really like this pen for just writing because I like writing with pens, but I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> and this is one of the few erasable pens I've used that actually works. The downside is that the more you use it, the more like ink residue stays on the like rubber eraser bit of the pen. So you get these sort of marks sometimes. But sometimes that's more of a you need to sort of get it out beforehand and then see like now it's pretty okay. Now it's pretty okay. But I really like the Frixion, Frixion pens. I, well, I also have like a highlighter set that is Frixion and it actually erases. I was very surprised. <laughs> So I use those for just like writing. I don't really use them for drawing. I just, I don't think that's really a good choice. <laughs> and then I just have my two Pigma Micron pens. And the only difference in these, they're both black, is one is a 101 and the other is a 05. So this is my little one. And this is my slightly bigger one. And I use these for for line work and for writing and for sketching. I mean, they're they're very versatile. I will have to give Micron that 
they're a very versatile tool, you can use it for a lot of stuff, but I don't really like how it feels as much as some of my other tools that I've gone over. I don't like how this sort of drivel here gets in my way when I draw, if I'm drawing for a long period of time with this. So I would, a lot of times I put like grips on them because I don't like how they feel as much, but I do like them as a tool. And yeah, that is my pencil case. And those are all the things that I carry with me on the daily. Sometimes I do carry ink with me, sometimes I don't. But I, I do always carry this water brush with me, sort of as a... Just in case I run across some ink. <laughs> or if I want to do something like that, then I have the... The option is there. So, that is that. And uh, you can, and this is not a sponsored video, but uh, these things, a lot of them are from Jet Pens. Uh, the remainder are from Blix, the, excluding this one pen from Target. <laughs> and then uh, the Frixion pens are kind of everywhere. I think they do sell them at Target as well. Also, I think I got mine from Staples though. So if you're interested in any of those products, you can get them for your own and test them out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!